So does this mean we're going for a serious ride? <laughs> hey. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna uh, we're gonna be doing 40k an hour to the uh, the coffee shop. Does this mean we're gonna have like extra coffees or? <laughs> yeah, maybe. <laughs> Are you coming? Yeah. Are you? Yeah. Where's the bike? Ah, oh, it's just around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Do you remember the days we used to ride our bikes to the coffee shop? Yeah. Those days are gone for now, aren't they? For now. It's very unique, isn't it? Yeah, it's different. They've been making uh, ski helmets and kayak helmets for a long time. Yeah. And now they've just come into the road okay. helmet. And uh, this is their aero one. Are these actually are magnetic? Whoa, hang on, hang on, hang on. So, do that slowly, brother. So what do they do? So this is, it's in like aero mode now, yeah. and then you take it off for when it's getting a bit hot. Like today. Yeah, like today. Like today. And so what do you do with those things? You just leave them Well, you, you can put them in your pocket or you leave them at home. Yeah. It's up to you. They fit in, your, in the middle, all right? Okay. Actually, that's pretty cool. That is so cool. Like that is but that so is pretty sick. cool. That is cool. Rather than like you know the casco and you just move the thing. Yeah, yeah, I've got that. Yeah, one actually you've got that one. Yeah, this this, this is cool though. Yeah, because this is really cool. What's the prognosis? Our little boy is engaged. He's engaged to who? <laughs> to my pelvic floor. <laughs> is he? So he's ready to come out. He's ready. He's locked and loaded. Is that what they said? Yeah. Okay. There's no going back from this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Are you ready to go? No. Are you? I don't think I'd ever be ready. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna, I don't think you can be ready. You can't be ready. You just have to just... I it's... feel okay. I'm just not thinking about it. What do you mean? Well, like I'm not thinking about the actual labour. Aren't you? No. There's no point. You're not scared about the actual labour? If I think about it, I probably would be scared. Yeah. But I'm not, I'm not because it's just one day in my life yeah. that I have to get through. Yeah. I'm scared about the labour. <laughs> and I'm also scared about how much stuff Hannah is buying with Australia Post. I'm going to have to get stuff redirected to our PO box, aren't I? You are. <laughs> Sneak it in the back door. You are. You just, or the other thing is you just stop buying. <laughs> buying products. You know what? It's not fun stuff. It's like diaper bins and nappies and things like that. It's not exciting stuff, except for the gifts. They're exciting. So what do you got here, Hage? This is my teddy bear. That's, so that's your teddy bear from when? When I was a baby. Really? Yeah, his name's Huggy. Mate, how good a nick is it in? I know, because I loved him, so I took good care of him. How did you not rip his eyes out and stuff? Because I loved him, I took good care of him. Um, and oh. what else? Oh, here. <laughs> Have a look at that. Have a look at that, Hannah. Are you well prepared? That's probably what? just one week's supply, isn't it? I don't know. <laughs> no, who knows? Uh, the postman has rocked up this morning and he was like, every day the postman, the same guy, has been bringing us parcels. And he's like, dude, that is, doesn't look like a big place. He's like, where is all this stuff going? So I had to explain to the postman today why we have so much stuff coming into the house. But one thing I'm totally stoked about, I love all the baby stuff that's coming in, but I am super st stoked that this arrived today. So the GoPro Hero 6. So this is based on Shane Miller's recommendation. I went and bought one of these because I, I want to get back into doing the GoPro crit videos. And uh, Shane also recommended this item here just for, it's a tripod and you can hold. So I ended up getting them both after Shane's video. This would be good because I've got the two GoPro Hero 4s still, the blacks. I can put one of them on the back of the bike and I can put this one on the front which is really good stabilized footage. And that's the main reason that I bought this is that the image stabilization in the camera, it's not shaky and you'll get this nice smooth image out of the GoPro which is really essentially what you want to see. Thanks Hanny. Um, the funny characteristics of Melbourne, right, is it was 35, 36, maybe 37 degrees for the last few days. Hannah's just there. Um, but, uh, you know, like super hot. We had the air conditioning on everything. Humid. It, was humid. It, was, it was humid. It was humid. It was hot, right? Today, 
I had to get Hannah to go in, because I've got all this stuff, to go in and get my puffy jacket. It's freezing, like it's cold out here. It's cold. And rain. so this is standard Melbourne, right? It just gets, like the weather fluctuates so quickly. Like within, there's been many a day where it's been like sweltering hot and then an hour later, like in the afternoon from 5 p.m. to 6 p.m., it's dropped 10 degrees. So, pretty unreal. Morning. Good morning, how are you? All right, so I've got the GoPro Hero 6 on the bike, right? I'm going to use it for some racing, and that's if I ever get into racing again. So I just want to see what the different uh, settings look like uh, between 2.7K, 1080, 25 frames, 240 frames, and see, uh, see what it all looks like. So let's test a few out now. All right, so the first one is 2.7K, 25 frames, and linear. Okay, this is still stabilized GoPro footage, but it's color graded, so the colors have been played with. It's 25 frames. Uh, this next shot is bumped up to 200 frames per second. The reason people use 240 frames is you can catch an action shot and really slow it down. So say, for example, Hannah's coming in here, we slow her right down, there's no choppy footage, and then she speeds up out of that. Okay, here we've got 2.750 frames per second. Uh, not color graded, but see that linear look. That's color graded footage, but see the linear field of view. There's not all those lines in the footpath are not distorting, so you don't get that fisheye effect with this linear sort of field of view. So the advantage of this camera over the old GoPros that I've got is the image stabilization is sensational. You know, even on bumpy roads, this would just be a perfectly still image. And the other advantage is you can bump that frame rate up, frame rate up really high and you can really slow down. So for example, if I'm in a race and there's a crash, you can really slow down and assess what was going on there. And uh, so, you know, there are advantages to the GoPro Hero 6 that the GoPro, the, the four black, the two four blacks that I've got don't have. We've just gone down to the cafe and stuff, but we need to buy Hanny a car because this little one is gonna be here very soon and she needs to be able to get around. So we've got potentially Simply Finance have brought us over, they've gone above and beyond the call of duty and bought the car to my house so that I can have a look at it because I know I don't have a car. Anyway, let's go have a look at it. Yeah, this is good enough, Han. Yeah, I think it's fine. A car's a car for me, really. Oh, it's got some go. It's got some go, Han. All right, now Tanny's going to drive the Volvo. So this is a, uh, a 2013 model Volvo. Um, it's cheap, man. Like the guy, this, uh, the boys at Simply Finance, they do finance and cars, but this car is like, they're gonna sell it to us for what it costs them. So I'm pretty stoked about that. How does it feel? It feels good, I feel very high up. Am I very high up? <laughs> I You're feel like upright. I'm on that Qantas flight again. <laughs> Yeah. Hello, <laughs> little meerkat. So the only thing this car doesn't have is Bluetooth for talking on the phone, which is just a little bit of a pain. Need it, yeah. <laughs> Got another, another parcel. I'm secretly having a relationship with the postman. That's why I want him to come over all the time. This. Hey. Ubi. Is it an Ubi? And you put your diapers in there and you close it up and you lock it so you can't open it. 
It's just a normal bin. Why don't you just buy a normal bin? Because it like seals it. This is a sealed one. It's a friggin' normal bin. Just because it's got that lock thing you suddenly makes it a diaper bin. Do you know? You could have bought a normal bin at Woolworths for 10 bucks. Nah, but this, it, you don't get the smell coming through. You don't get the nappy smell because it's stainless steel. <laughs> Did you just make that up? Yeah. I don't even think it is stainless steel. <laughs> Let's see what the box says. <laughs> oh shit. I'm a marketer's dream. I really am. But you don't have to use special bags for it, which is the good thing. A lot Look of at you, just got all the rational. It is, it's made of steel. <laughs> like me. Locks in odour, and it's got a child safety lock, so the baby can't. Reach in, grab a nappy, if, and play with it. So, as if a six month old is gonna, like a three month old is gonna reach in. I know. That is just, you've been sold an absolute dummy, haven't you? Look at all the awards it's won. <laughs> Look, one, two, go. three, four, five, six, seven, eight awards it's got. You wanna sell to someone, all you have to do, well, Hannah anyway, is put a whole bunch of awards on the side of it, which are probably just. N nothing. 2,000 winner baby. So I've been smelling this this uh, amazing smell. Have a look at this. There's so many veggies in there. There's what? So many veggies. Is there? Yeah, broccoli, Have a celery, look at that. carrot, mushrooms, onion. That looks amazing. We're going half each? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> hey, let's do this. Oh, it's really juicy though. This could be a problem. Yeah. I put so much flour in it too though. Oh, it's a soup. It's a pie soup. This is a problem. Because normally it's not like this. And I put lots of flour to thicken it up. It's a disaster, but... <laughs> it's still edible. What it tastes like, not what it looks like. Isn't that what they say? So that's, it's a soup. So we're having um, pie soup. Pie soup in the house. <laughs> into a tree. <laughs>